Spring has not been especially kind to North Dakota farmers. There's a lot of water here. We were uh, planting on sunflower ground, which uh, was dry enough. Potholes, one after the other, but we went around those. Here on the Kinsley farm, they were not only fighting for a dry day to seed. An ATV accident in May left 28-year-old John fighting for his life. Life can change in an instant. Seconds. Before the accident that crushed his spine, John was preparing to plant the Kinsley's 2,100 acres, as his father David is recovering from rotator cuff surgery this spring as well. The accident stopped that plan in its tracks, and the Kinsley's turned to farm rescue. Losing one crop would be probably the end of the farm. Well, if I didn't have them here, I probably wouldn't have anything done hardly at all, so it's like a big weight lifted off my shoulders. David's shoulders are still healing, but as any lifelong farmer, you can't keep him from the field. My dad's had me out on this very farm all my life, so I don't know, 50 years, I suppose. That's him up on the truck, 87 years old, and you can't hold him back. That's also true of the farm rescue volunteers, retired farmers themselves. Any farmer, basically, that's uh, retired or thinking of retirement, consider volunteering for farm rescue. With the help from farm rescue, 1,000 acres of barley and flax will be in under the wire, and the Kinsleys can turn their attention to recovery. Maybe I'll get back to seeing my son. John is recovering in Grand Rapids, Michigan. He may never walk next to his trusty dog, Millie, but his sights are set on coming home. His spirits are up. He wants me to come and see him and everything, so. I'd like to get back down there if I can. Thanks to a few especially kind North Dakota farmers. In Mohawk, Jennifer Thorgerson, KX News.